You don't need a scientific mind to understand reality. You need a free one. The human disease is ignorance because the system has made them ignorant. They are ensuring that basically as much as possible, you only see what you already believe. Ignorance is still a choice. They're trying to make it no longer a choice by suppressing alternative information. But still now, ignorance is a choice. If people want to know what is possible and what's going on beyond what they're told, it's there still for now in books and on the internet, videos, etc., where they can see it. But what they're doing now with the internet is trying to firewall off people in the same way as the Chinese do, but in a more subtle way. Something Tesla said, you can think deeply and be quite insane, but you need to be sane to think clearly. If you look at a human life, it is a 24 seven almost, downloading of a program of perception. Look at it. You come out of the womb and you are immediately influenced in your perceptions of the world by your parents who've been through the same programming process you're about to go through and are not passing it on to you through malevolence but because they think it's real. So immediately you're out the womb and you're already having your perceptions directed and molded by your parents. Then three, four, sometimes five years only after you enter this reality, you're sitting at a desk and an authority figure called a teacher is telling you at least five times a week, hours and hours a day, what is, what isn't, what's right, what's wrong, what's possible, what's impossible, what's happened, what's not happened. And in terms of control, they're telling you when you have to be there, when you can leave, when you can eat, when you can talk, when you can go to the toilet. You've only just arrived and this is going on. And then all the way through your formative years, right into your teenage years, this download of the state's version of reality is going on. At the same time, your parents, when you're younger, they are confirming that what you're being told at school is true. All the people around you, your peers and your friends and your acquaintances, are going through the same programming system. Every time you turn on the mainstream media, and much of the alternative, let me say, they are telling you the same thing is true. And so on and on and on it goes. And then there's not only the download of, of the perception, there's also the policing of the perception. If you challenge what you're being told at school, then you are a disruptive influence in the classroom. If you question what I call the postage stamp consensus, what this download is telling us to believe in, in terms of its narrowness of possibility, then your peers ridicule you or call you crazy because you're challenging this norm. Next stage, you go into the adult world. You go into politics, you go into journalism, you go into medicine, you go into science, you go into the corporate world, you go into education to be a teacher or an academic. And what are you taking in to those institutions? The core programming that you've been downloading since the day you were born, actually before, in the womb, through the mother as well, perception programming. All the way through your life, you are being bombarded with a sense of normality and a sense of the possible and a sense of reality, which is so powerful in controlling people's perceptions. This is what you're dealing with. You're dealing with people who are so programmed, they cannot literally think outside of it. So as Tesla said, they can think deeply within the program, but they th can't think clearly, so they see beyond the program. Why do animals know when an earthquake's coming? Why do they know when there's a storm coming before humans do? Because they haven't been to school. They don't read the local newspaper and watch the mainstream media. They've not got peer pressure all the time to desensitize them from the wider field and focus them only in a tiny band of it. Because everything is energy in the end, everything is waveform energy in its base form. When you start to expand your awareness into the greater field, you're expanding your awareness into greater understanding, into greater insight, into greater knowledge. 
And that's the last thing that the few seeking to enslave and direct billions want you to do. They want you isolated in a sense of little me, in a sense of everything's apart from everything else, rather than we're all expressions of the same awareness, having different experiences. And so the system has been set up to pressure people from the earliest age to sense and self-identify themselves with the labels of experience rather than the infinite eternal totality of who we really are. We're at this fork in the road where people have to choose. Are they going to go on being controlled sheep and robots of the control system or are they going to wake up and take the road to freedom? And that's the choice that people are facing now and will face ever more blatantly in the next few years.